Bro, did you just try to hit me? In the shop today is a brand new 2020 Shelby Mustang GT500. It's in our shop today to protect this beautiful Kona blue paint job. We're gonna be wrapping the entire car in paint protection film. This car is brand new for 2020. Let's take a little closer look at it. Starting at $71,000, the Mustang GT500 is all new for the year 2020 and is the best performing Mustang to ever exit a Ford assembly plant. It's loaded with a 760 horsepower supercharged 5.2 liter V8 that revs to 7,500 RPMs with a seven speed dual clutch automatic. It's built on the same chassis as its little brother, the GT350, but it has an additional 234 horsepower. Mitchell and Pilot Sport 4S tires are standard along with the massive Brembo brakes. If you'd like to add on the 18,500 carbon fiber track package, you get an upgrade to the Mitchell and Pilot Sport Cup 2 track tires wrapped around carbon fiber wheels, along with a rear seat delete, Recaro seats, a larger rear wing, carbon fiber interior trim, splitter wickers, and adjustable strut top mounts. Fully loaded, you can expect to pay just under 100K. My name is Steve DiNardo. I just got this uh, Shelby, my youngest brother, talked me into buying a Mustang again. He goes, oh, he says, oh, you're always thinking about GM cars. Why don't you ever think about getting a Mustang or something? I go, Rich, you know, if I'm gonna get a Mustang, I'm gonna get something really crazy. So I'm gonna see if I can get it, I'm gonna see if I can get a GT500. My brother, my oldest brother had a Mustang in 1970, Mach 1, and uh, I loved the car as a kid. And he used to like, take me for rides in the car and you know, I get to, you know, you know what scared on me because he'd take crazy turns with it. But it was fun. I'm gonna try to enjoy it, drive it on nice days. Try to enjoy the car. I may take it to the track. I might have been to Great Lakes Dragway in many years. I might, I might bring it there possibly. I didn't hit anybody. <laughs> All right, GoPro inspection on the 2020 Shelby Ford Mustang GT500. I just like saying that. <laughs> All right, let's check this baby out, see what we got here. Uh, the stripes have a little bit of um, swirling in them. Normal, normal. When we looked at this paint before we even washed it, it looked pretty good. You can see that. Ooh, looks great. Love that metallic. Got a little bit of residue on side of these stickers that you can see here. Uh, so we are gonna do a little bit of a polish. I want these stickers to look nice. We saw this little bit of a, see that on the edge there? I don't know if that's just adhesive or what that is on the vinyl, but I'm sure that'll come off. I just want to check the front end to see if we have any rock chips that we need to touch up or anything. I know with these, all these black piano trim pieces, we're going to have to polish all those. Got a little bit of a chip. We already talked to the customer about that in the vinyl. Moving on to the driver's side fender here. Paint looks great. 
some minor tiny swirls. A little bit of scuff mark on the trim there. Two scuff marks on the trim. Three scuff marks on the trim. Let's go to the roof. Roof. A little bit of adhesive in the window. Again, we see some of those. I don't know what that is. I don't know if you can see it in the camera either. Rear spoiler. Uh, we got some very fine swirls. You can see a deeper scratch there. Uh, or a transfer of some kind that's going to be easily removed. Vinyl stripes again, more of that. Whatever that is. Back of the vehicle. Oh, look, we got finger spots already. Get those marks. You can see they're almost like perfect fingers, too. One, two, three. That won't happen anymore once it's wrapped with PPF. Ah, uh, there's a deeper scratch. So we got a deeper scratch on the rear bumper here. Right there. And a couple there. Those should polish out. Definitely make it look better, but when you see that white, they're always, uh, you know, they're a little deeper. Moving on to the passenger side of the vehicle, again, this trim. We got a couple scuff marks there. I know this trim is pretty sensitive. Paint looks awesome. They're just a light polish. This is great. Thank you, Ford. You did a great job. Prepping the Mustang for paint protection film, we are just going to do a very light polish to remove all the leftover adhesive residue and clean up all these sensitive black trim pieces. We will also be removing the emblems, the door handles, and other pieces on the vehicle for a clean, seamless install. When you're wrapping your car in clear film, you want the car to be as clean as possible because you're gonna see anything that is in between the film and the car's paint. So the last step before we bring the GT500 into the clean room is to rinse off any dust or debris. We are using Lumar Platinum paint protection film to wrap this Mustang. It's a unique self-healing film that not only will protect the original paint from nasty rock chips, but will self-heal swirls induced from unwanted touching or car washes with the heat of the sun. We leave extra film where we can to wrap around the edges. This hides the film and provides the maximum coverage as possible.
Well, I just want to say the Chicago Auto Pros did an absolutely stunning job on, on this on this Shelby. I really appreciate all the other finesse and perfection that they did on this vehicle. From the very, very front of the vehicle to the very back, it's just looks absolutely amazing. Anybody wants to get a, a, an unbelievable quality job done to the car, film whatever they want to have done, put on their vehicle, you got to come to Chicago Auto Pros. This place, this place is, the, is the best place to go I can think of. It was exhilarating uh, to see the, uh, the, the, the shine, the, 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 the smooth finish. I mean, you can see yourself, you know, you can comb your hair and look at the car if you want. It's so shiny. And just the, the, the look of the quality of the, of the job you, get, you guys did is amazing. And uh, every, everything, every detail, you guys didn't miss any details on it. I'm very happy and uh, can't wait to drive the Shelby home.